Welcome, uh, this is Mike Hamilton for Trade the Easy Way and I've just done all my preparation for the weekend. Few, three charts that really stand out for me. This is the FTSE on the weekly and we're pretty flat into last week. And what I'm seeing is this, I'm seeing um, this sort of a distribution pattern. And I think we're going to get something like this. Uh, and then a co potential capitulation. So I'm looking to sell into the highs here. We finished really well on the week, so I don't want to get too bearish too quickly uh, for fear of missing out. But I did a stock scan today, and I ended up with a much longer bear, bear list than I did with a bull list. So you know, the weekly is holding up. So what I'm looking for is just to see if the daily chart starts to put in a signal um, we're literally just just held this trend line high what I'm really wanting to see is if we can break under last so if we can start closing under last week's open which was 67.50 and then start closing underneath 67 uh, and really start to to see if that can come down. If, if I show you what I'm seeing on a daily, for some reason that's not letting me do that. Why is that not letting me do that? Okay, so this is the daily chart, and you can see we have this clear channel here. So we could still potentially get to 7,000. Uh, that's a big ask, and these. The MACD has already crossed the downside here in late July. Uh, here we are bouncing higher and closing higher. So, like I said, I don't want to get too bearish if this is just going to close higher and run up to 7,000. So, how we close on Monday is going to be pretty crucial. I'm not trading on Monday. I'm going to just take a back seat and take it easy and let the market come to me. But uh, if we pop up into this area here, Let's see. And they pop up into June last year's high. Uh, that would potentially be a nice place to, to get short, unless I see a short signal underneath this little mini uh, channel. Alright, so I'm, I'm bearish the FTSE, but because we've not got sell signal, I'm not jumping in just yet. Uh, this is my Euro US chart. So we hit on first half of last week, we hit this high, started rolling over from 112.25 area. And here we are down here just under 111. So I would like to get short around about the 111.25 area if we see it, and then see if we can come down here and start closing underneath, or at least retesting 109.20 at least. Um, if I look at the close on um, Brexit day, you know, we are underneath that close, so I want to come and see the low tested, I want to see that fail, but overall we're just a massive box. If, yeah, if I strip a lot of this away, Uh, what I'm seeing here is just a huge box. Uh, so we breached this high in August last year, and ever since we've been selling at those highs. And the lower the box is down here, right about the 105 area. So I'm looking for this to come lower, and I like the way stochastic uh, the MACD is turning over. And so I'm going to be. I'm basically looking for a lot stronger dollar, and I've been shorting that on Friday, and we'll continue to short that. I actually stayed unusually for me. I stayed in this uh, during the North Island payroll. Uh, it's my 15-minute chart. I saw this kind of selling, and just stayed in. Uh, I took it off around about the 85 area. I didn't hang around for, for the 50 area, it just wasn't worth it. Um, yeah, I'd already had a lot of profit in by the time it got down there, so I just took it off uh, and walked away. 
Okay, so let's look at the. Uh, I want to look at the New Zealand US dollar because we got a uh, lot of rate dropping going on. We've seen the Aussies drop the rates and the UK drop the rates. And we have New Zealand rates on, I think it's Wednesday, and they're projected to come lower. We finished the week on a low level, so only pull back into 72 is a potential area for this to come short and start to break that support. And the other, let's just look at the pound yen. This has been beaten up. And so I'm just looking for, I think we're going to get a push higher first. If you look at the Brexit low, which was here, we just narrowly closed on it on Friday. So I would look for a pullback into 136, 137 for the next leg down to these lows. We've got a uh, MACD cross, we're under the, under the midline. Um, so I mean, it is a little hammer, but I'm not looking for any, um, not looking for much of a recovery. I'm just looking for a pullback. And then we'd like to get short on that pullback. So I think we're going to hang around this apex, come into contact with it, and then get the next leg down. All right, um, trailers around table. I'm going to go to details about the stocks I'm looking at. Uh, I'll just give you an example of one I like. If I can just quickly refer to my list. Um, Yeah, let's look at JD Sports. This is the sort of pattern I'm seeing in the charts at the moment. Um, so this dropped hard on the Brexit vote. Has returned. Has uh, it has closed the gap? So we've got a gap fill on JD Sports after Brexit. And now I'm looking for this to roll over. So I think we've got that pattern. We're in that apex. I'm seeing a lot of these charts. Uh, those that ran out really well after Brexit are potentially selling. And these that recovered after Brexit are potentially selling. So I'm looking for a short on this JD Sports. All right, I, I think that's a very, very nice chart pattern. And any highs, I would like to sell into a retest of the high. I'm not sure we're going to get it, so I'll, I'll see what setup I get. I think realistically, if you want to get in this, I think you've got a short at 12.92 if you're a swing trader. Will you stop above well, 13.12 is last week's high? I think you've got to put your stop above 13.30. Uh, failing that, I would just wait. See what we get on Monday, and uh, we'll look at this one on Monday night at 7 p.m. Trades around table, and then we'll um, make a decision on it. But I'm, I'm, as I'm a day trader, I'm going to look for this to um, just get a little higher. I just think we might get a little higher first, and then roll over. So this is going to remain top of my list. Okay, uh, some really interesting chart setting up. It's a good time of the year to to trade, even though it is summer and volumes are much lower. All more reason why the markets might slip in some interesting moves. Data is pretty light. Um, not a lot going on. I'll update you more on Trails Roundtable, but that's what I'm seeing so far. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and see you then.